If you've been keeping up with AI lately, you've probably heard about DeepSea Kits, been making waves, especially with its powerful open source models. But here's the thing. While the models themselves are free, running them locally isn't exactly practical unless you've got a supercharged GPU setup. That's where API keys come in handy. Today, I'll walk you through two simple ways to get DeepSeek's API for free, so you can experiment without breaking the bank. Let's start with the first method. Head over to platform.deepseek.com and sign in. You can even use your Google account to make it quick. Once you're logged in, look for the API keys option on the left sidebar. Click Create New Key, give it a name, and boom, you've got your API key ready to go. It's that straightforward. This key lets you integrate DeepSeek's capabilities directly into your projects, whether you're building a chatbot, a research tool, or anything else you can imagine. Now, if you're specifically interested in DeepSeek are one of the model everyone's talking about, there's another trick. NVIDIASNIMIS platform actually hosts DeepSeek R1 and offers a generous 1,000 free API credits to new users. Just visit their site, sign up, and navigate to the DeepSeek R1 section. Click Get a PI key and you'll instantly get credits to start testing. The cool part, you can use these credits with code similar to OpenEye's setup. For example, you'd tweak the base URL and plug in your NVIDIA-generated API key. Then run queries in tools like Google Colab. The platform even shows the model's thinking process step-by-step, -step, which is pretty neat for debugging or learning how it works, and those 1,000 credits are per account. So if you ever run out, you can create a new account and keep exploring. Just remember to play around with settings like temperature and max tokens to fine-tune your results. Whether you're comparing numbers, generating content, or solving problems, these free methods let you dive into DeepSeek's AI without upfront costs. So give them a try. Experiment with different prompts and see what you can build. Don't forget to drop a comment if you have questions or want to share. You create. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.